This is me, and I'm trying to safely eject myself from a moving car at 40 km per hour. Recently, we saw this video on YouTube and decided that we want to do the same, but faster. What better way than using our human cannon that can launch you 40 meters far? So, we lay our cannon horizontally, put it on the back of a moving car and try the matching speeds in order to dismount of it safely. Today we're doing a cannon runoff. This is our rig, we basically rented the biggest trailer we've found. Now we're here on a big road, uh, ready to test it. We adapted the, the, the seat, the trolley, a little bit. Let's see how, what the adaptations were. <laughs> okay, this looks stupid, I know. But let me explain why we built it this way. An issue we might face here is what position you'll be in once you try to stand up straight. With our two existing seats, you will either come out of the cannon lying flat on your stomach in the sitting position, once you straighten out, you will be leaning backwards. Once again, not great. We already saw how that went in the past. But if you try to straighten out of the crouching position, in theory, you should land standing upright. Hence, this build. But still, that doesn't change the fact that it looks ridiculous. It's pretty ergonomical. It is, right? <laughs> yeah, thank you. You see, thank you have the head support. I think on lunchtime we're all gonna be yeah. fighting for this chair. This is the place I would take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> First step is definitely no movement. And we'll see what's, what's the you know ejection like, how it feels. Then once we feel comfortable to start moving, we're, we're gonna start moving. Yeah. I feel like the, the goal is to go 40 kilometers per hour. <laughs> so, first we'll do stationary tests with a dummy. Then we'll try it ourselves without moving. And once we feel safe and we can go straight to driving, we'll try to gradually progress our way up to 40 kilometers per hour. But yeah, one of the challenges we need to figure out as well is this position works. We set up the mats, loaded our crash test dummy. So Gab hopped on the calculator app and just predict that it's gonna, the tire is gonna fly two and a half meters. The ground should be around mm. here, but with the mats should be... Yeah. But it was finally time to see all this theory in action. Three, two, with the slowest cannon launch ever. <laughs> As I predicted. <laughs> we felt it was safe enough for one of us to already try it out. Before Meiji could change his mind, we quickly reloaded the cannon. Uh, they've never had such an easy reload. <laughs> Meiji got ready to launch. I think this is the most uncomfortable launching device we ever built. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's super comfy. Okay, <laughs> the trolley was stopping too far away from the edge, causing us to fall on our faces due to friction between our feet and cannon surface. <laughs> I imagine that, just going to the gravel road, like <laughs> perfect belly flop. <laughs> Uh, the situation right now is not looking really good. We need to fix it before we can move forward. What we actually need to do is to optimize the brake length so you your feet actually clear the end, right? Yeah, yeah, because now the trolley is stopping like here somewhere and we need it to stop here somewhere and I think now it's gonna stop like here. Maybe. Okay. So after a bit of braining and a bit of fixing, we decided to try again. And it actually looked better. First we need to figure out how to dis dismount uh, from the seat, like safe in, in this position, maybe change a bit of the settings, and then we can go straight to driving, I think. I said I would go first. Like he, his face is just so focused that you can't take him seriously. <laughs> 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 like you're taking a shit. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna photoshop this into a toilet. <laughs> we then did a bunch of tests with different power levels. For one, we wanted to feel what the dismount is like at different speeds, if we still feel it's safe or we need to adapt the seat. That was fast. I think this landing would actually like stick to the ground if the speed would be right. And more importantly, to see how our calculations compare to actual speed measurements in real life. With the help of that, we can more accurately extrapolate future speeds. I 
I think I didn't touch the, the end of the cannon. Uh, landed pretty fine on my feet. I think I could do it even without the roll right now. Yeah, this one you could right, do without it, the roll. Because it's probably. so it's so slow. And I think this is this is the way to go and try try the first go go for the first time in this settings. So what are we now going with the tire while going 15 kilometers per hour? Yes. Yeah, let's go super. Slow. Yes, let's do that. Use the dummy and then it's trying to go for the human test. <laughs> yeah. Wow! Okay, <laughs> now let's see the magic happen! In theory, this should work like a charm, but it sounds almost too good to be true. I mean, imagine being able to instantly stop and dismount from a car moving at 20 km per hour like nothing. Super excited. Uh, it's, it's like, it's super simple, super stupid, super crazy. Like exciting stunt. All right, we're moving. First test is going down. I don't know how it's going to be for us, but I think my, my hopes and uh, the, the end velocity just went way up in my head. Like, I imagine that we could go like really fast. I can clearly see it works really well, but I think the feeling when you're going to be up there is going to be terrifying. I, th I think, I think uh, we, are, we are ready. We knew Stelling won't make it any better, so we decided to go for it as soon as possible and get the first try over. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel any bit nervous? Of course I'm nervous. It's still undiscovered territory. So, yeah, it's a voyage in undiscovered places where people haven't stepped in yet. We'll see. But like the first try should be kind of okay and safe. Uh, one small step for man and one big step for humankind, something like that. For human cannon, you mean? For human cannon. <laughs> I, I can feel that landing for Yanni is gonna be super weird because he's gonna be... He'll prepare to land like, like this, like he has some speed, but he won't have speed. So he might just ass drop or just stumble. First try, it's going down in any second now. Uh, I'm excited, are you? I'm excited, <laughs> not too much worried, but still can feel it. <laughs> I feel like this movement is something that we, you can't compare to anything we've done before. Even cannon first time, it was like you basically go really high up and really far away, which you can do with cliff jumping, but this is you go really fast, but you don't. Yeah. It's pretty safe. I mean, the, the velocity of landing is going to be close to zero yeah. either way. So. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the theory, yeah. yeah. That's the theory. <laughs> okay, you got this. Okay, let's go. Peripheral vision is going to go like error, error, error. Something's not right. Error. Okay. <laughs> First human test is just going down. Okay, for the basics one, safety pin out. Go, Yanni, go. <laughs> <laughs> so excited. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. That was 20 kilometers per hour, now we want to go 40. The feeling was so euphoric and it looked so incredibly good that it was hard to believe it's actually true. <laughs> this was one of the weirdest feelings I ever had. Max was like, we're close, we're close, I felt like... <laughs> and the spring's going yeah, bop, bop, bop. Yeah, it's, it's loud. And then, and then when it's the count on, then it just like, it just stops, it's just like... I don't know, it's hard to describe. It, it feels like you're, you're not moving. It just cancels immediately. 
That's the safest, the sketchiest <laughs> stunt that we did. <laughs> Since we were still on low settings, everybody wanted to try it out. It basically feels like you're just stepping off of a, of a step. It's like reverse cliff diving, like you would jump out of the water fast and start slowing down and land it on a cliff. Like, it's mind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> it works so well. <laughs> you good? Yeah, all good. I, <laughs> I fell from like no speed at all. I think I uh, I hit it with my feet. You catch the edge, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it was it was super chill though. Uh, a bit of ouchy, but I'm a big boy, so no biggie. <laughs> After we had our fun, it was time to start ramping up, as our goal was twice the speed we just did. Level two. Higher speed. Now we're gonna go from 7% to around 10% of power. We're gonna go uh, 25 kilometers per hour. At first, we tested the speed with the tire, which worked just as our calculation predicted. Perfect! Perfect dude! You can see, whoa, it, it is going fast now. It's time for another upgrade. We're going for 30 kilometers per hour. We noticed the sun was getting low and time was running out. So we decided to do some more human and tire tests to confirm our calculations. We haven't mentioned before, but the tire weighs 80 kg, which is about how much we weigh. From the kinetic energy equation, we can conclude that conversion of energy into speed is quadratic, meaning if we double the velocity, we get quadruple of energy. According to that, we predicted all of the speeds and tested them out. Guess what? It worked! Yes, science! We figured out that, that our math worked every try so we think that it's it's okay just, just to incrementally go step by step directly to the highest do you agree <laughs> <laughs> yeah i agree <laughs> step by step is the method we do like almost all the time and so far is working well uh, but yeah now the sheet is getting real we trusted our calculations so much that we decided to extrapolate the numbers and go straight for the 42 kilometers per hour. Yeah, we're, we're moving fast. We're moving at a speed that you should not be driving outside of the car. <laughs> we are close to sonic boom. I'm sure of that. Gap, is that right? Are we close to sonic boom? Almost there. Almost there. See, physics said that. You don't look uh, as calm as you did earlier. Yeah, I'm just honest. It's it. That's some scary shit. Like, what can we do? Now it's 35% of power and about 42 kilometers per hour. <sighs> so we're moving past 40. And it is possible. 42 is a great number. It's a great number. Answer to everything. <laughs> I feel a bit more pressure and the speeds are getting bigger and bigger. When you're uh, on the on the trolley, it feels like fast and I know this one is gonna be, it's gonna feel even faster. It's taking a while, you're prepping yourself mentally to do some, some very weird stuff, I would say. I mean, we're gonna go the fastest. Supposedly we're gonna go 42 to 43 kilometers per hour. It's gonna feel nuts when when you're driving It's always it always feels like you shouldn't be driving that fast. It's gonna go yeah. We want to do this by the end of the day and I honestly kind of doubt it Yeah but right now they're taking off at 40 kilometers an hour and we're about to see if our calculations were correct. And it's gonna be violent fast. Violent fast, I feel. <laughs> they're coming, I can see them. Yeah, you can hear the car. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> 